Alright guys, we're back out here. But yeah, we're gonna dress this thing up, or finish dressing it up, put the turbo, lower intake, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna bore y'all, I got like a lot of like cleaning and painting to do. Um, so I'm not gonna bore y'all guys, or you guys with that, but I'm gonna take the intake, clean it up, make some block off plates for all the EGR stuff, and uh, get this thing thrown in there so the next time I bug you, you'll see it going all together. I might do some time lapse stuff, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway. I'm gonna get started and get this thing in there because hopefully tonight we'll hear this thing run. So, fingers crossed, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we got the engine on the hoist behind me. We'll put you on the time lapse and we're gonna drop the engine in, then hook everything up and try to test fire this thing. So, here we go. If you can, probably won't let you. Alright, your boy's stress level is like... Whoosh, like, it's up. I'm telling you, this thing driving me dang crazy. But, we got this ticking time bomb in this turd muffin. And, it was a nightmare. Like I said, the wastegate was hitting. Now, the shouldn't on better to put the turbo and stuff on. And then like the turbo was hitting on the heater core line and you know, hitting on the frame and the everything. It's hitting on everything. We're getting all the hits over here. <laughs> but it's in here. Just in time for it to get dark. Um, I got to uh, just kind of bolt everything down and see how far I can get. So it, it might be tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna continue working on this thing, do some Uthrabas and chill for a little bit. And we'll see if we can get this thing running. All right guys, we're back at it. Um, so we got the engine in the other night. Uh, we got like a couple things we gotta button up, like uh, fuel lines and the wiring and putting the upper intake on, down pipe, and the cooling system, which the water pump housing, water pump, and all that stuff is like seized onto the old motor. Um, I had the same problem the last REW I broke down, so I got a torch. <laughs> so I've been letting it soak with like some penetrating oil for like a couple, like probably about a day now since I knew this was an issue. So I'm going to heat it and kind of just keep soaking, working, working like that until we get, you know, get it to release. So, or we hope it, you know, hope it will release. So, all right, here we go. Let's see, flip you around real quick. But this is the issue right here. It's just, it's seized on that one. So turn the torch on real quick. And I'm just gonna kind of focus on that guy. Hopefully getting it like red hot will, you know, 
get it to break free. I think all the other ones are free. It's just this one that's giving me a hard time. Yeah. We're gonna let this sit here for like, I don't know, a few minutes and like just get as hot as I can and then try to uh, fry it off and see if it'll, uh, if it's gonna break free or not. But I'll let you guys know. Once we get this off, just paint it, or just, just gonna paint it black to match the rest of the engine and then just put it on the car, so. But gotta get it off first. Let's see if this is gonna work or not. All right, guys, we got them out, so. Um, I had two REWs. Uh, one of these engines are the, is the original engine that come in the car, and the other one come out of that wreck car that I took to the scrapyard. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just been spraying them with some good penetrating oil and heat them with a torch. And on this one right here, it had two studs broke, you know, uh, seized in it. And I was just kind of tapping them with a hammer on and uh, just kind of, you know, tapping it with a hammer, heating it, and kind of stuff like that. And, uh, they finally come out. Didn't have so much luck with that one. This one, the stud right there was starting to come out. This one right here, there was like no way. So I tried drilling like a little hole right beside it to see if I could get oil to get down in there in it. That didn't work. So I started trying to drill a hole down straight through it. Maybe I could get it thin enough where I could just tap it, the material out. But um, I ended up like uh, prying on it and it cracking that housing so thankfully I didn't damage this one but uh, now that we got the studs out with a where they were seized in there I'm doing all the holes just on case just in case just kind of running the drill down through them to kind of make sure I get all the crud out So hopefully, you, know, you can kind of see a little bit of stuff coming out through there. Hopefully, this will prevent us from having uh, any further issue. So, but yeah, this was definitely a task. Apparently, this is like a pretty common thing with uh, the FDR X7. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up paint it to match the rest of the engine, throw it on the car, finish the cooling system, and uh, we should be about ready to uh, test fire this thing. I gotta put the down pipe on, which is just hanging out right there. So I'm gonna wrap that, put that on, and we should be good to go, so. All right guys, um, I know y'all missed a lot because I can't remember the last time I stopped to record. So I hope you'll forgive me for that. But we've got a decent amount done on this thing. I'm actually ready to try to crank it. There's like one or two more things I have to do. I'm going to flip the camera around, show you guys where we're at, what we got to do. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and like I said, uh, try to crank this thing and see if it's uh, it's going to run. So. I don't know how much you know or may not know about FDs, but basically got this little intercooler right here. And like you have like an expansion tank that hooks to it and all this stuff. but. I'm going to make a little bracket. I've already got the, all the lines run for it. Um, goes to the bottom of the radiator. And this goes to the return, which is back this way. I'm going to make a little bracket to kind of hold it. Like right over here in this corner, so it's kind of out of the way. Not really worried about it being lower. I don't think it's going to hurt. Um, I would like for it to be up high, but um, basically that will be the highest point of the cooling system right there, so I can drain all, all the air bubbles out of it. But Yep, uh, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Um, got to relocate the battery to the back because this is going to be where the intercooler is going to go. So, um, you know, it's not going to work. I can't put a battery up here unless I get like a little bitty one or something. But anyway, so I got to put that in the back. I got to do something for like an idler pulley for, you know, the air pump delete. So, um, got to get that done. Probably have to take it and let someone help me do the fabrication for the the intercooler because I don't have the I don't have a way to weld aluminum. But it's looking pretty good. That's like the main thing I hate about the FDs. Like you know, this is just a big open space once you start modifying them. So, but putting an intercooler right here, I think it'd be okay. Thinking about even maybe possibly doing 
you know, like a water to air or something, which would be kind of cool. Kind of have like the intercooler right here. Have like the ice tank right here or something. But for now, it's just going to be the air to air, which isn't going to do really or do too much because it's going to be like right over these radiators blowing like hot air into it. But anyway, let's see what else, what else. Oh, yeah, I know y'all missed that. Um, I got the downpipe on. I just kind of just wrapped it with some heat wrap to make, you know, make it kind of cool. So I got to figure out some kind of an intake, which is probably going to be just a little filter on it. I'm kind of running out of space. Might need to get like a spacer and like raise that whole th that setup. I'm trying to maintain my AC too. I don't want to lose it. Got the lines in. Got the pump back on. So I would like to keep the AC, but if it's going to be an issue and not work, uh, I won't mind taking that on. I guess. Got to do the same thing I done for the V8 car for the brake lines. I got that ABS system out. I'm not going to run it because I think it was already messed up. So basically, everything I done to the, the V8 FDR 7 I have to do to this thing. So I got to do that. All right, guys. I'm not going to fib y'all. I've already, <laughs> I've already fired this up briefly. Um, but. You didn't get to see it, so um, everything's good right now. We don't have any leaks or anything, so I'm going to put you on the tripod, or put you on the stand real quick, and uh, fry this thing up. I'm crazy happy right now, so anyway, I hope you forgive me for y'all missing the initial first startup, but anyway, I know y'all want to hear it, so here we go. Alright, I'm super pumped to have this thing back running. Um, like I said, kind of give you a little breakdown. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this before, but whatever. But like I said, bought this car with a seized engine, which is the engine that I took to Angel Motorsports. Had them rebuild for me, which is back in the car. Uh, the engine that wasn't here, um, come out of that wreck, that wreck, jeez, that wrecked black FD um, that I picked up for parts. That engine was good, so I bought this car, put it in there. And like I said, it blew up like 300 miles later. But anyway, um, still got a little bit of work to do. Uh, I had to figure out my intercooler setup. Got to relocate the battery. But um, I'm all out. I'm going to go get cleaned up. Uh, so it's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys will stick around. And uh, I'm really pumped that both these cars are coming together as good as fast as they are right now. So buddy's on with the roll cage or my buddy that's putting the roll cage in for me he's knocking it out it's looking sick already so i'm pumped to get that car back get everything painted finally assemble it and just have it a running driving car same thing with this um got a few things to do build an exhaust for this do the intercooler gotta throw some gauges in it you know like i said like i said before Get some break-in miles on this thing and then take it back to Virginia Beach to let Mike and them and Angel Motorsports, you know, 
do the tune on it and uh, get this thing ripping. So I'm pumped. I'm not gonna take any more of your time, but uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.